Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to Tea Time with Tanya. Today is Monday, February 26th, 2024. Greetings and salutations, my friends. Blessings from me to you. Let's start this day off with a sacred oracle, universe creator, spirit guides, please draw an oracle card to give us the message that you wish the collective to have this day. Okay. We get power. Number 46. Here we go, y'all. Power. You are powerful. You are worthy. You are sovereign. It is time to remember your worth. Drawing this card invites you to take your place in the starring role of your life. There is no need to play small here. You are being granted permission to display your strengths for all to see at this time. It does no service for you to hide your gifts. Drawing this card can also indicate that it is time for you to call your power back from any situation where it may have been taken or given away. The symbol is the Isis crown. Y'all, I'm wearing it. The crown of Hathor is made up of the sun disk cradled in cow's horns. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm excited about this. This is so personal right now. The sun and the cow were both worshipped in ancient Kemet as symbols um, of the different but equal powers of the divine feminine and the divine masculine. Namaste, y'all. Let's go ahead and pull a fairy card. Universe creator, spirit guides, fairies. The fairy realm, please tell the collective what you want us to know this day. Ah, uh, we get motivation, y'all. Motivation. I want you to see this card. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there is something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Namaste, y'all. Greetings and salutations. And I want to say happy birthday today to my baby brother, Stevie. And happy birthday tomorrow to my baby sister, Keisha. Happy birthday, y'all. I love you. I love you. I love you. And I hope that both of your days are filled with joy, magic, and that all of your dreams come true. I love you both. Happy birthday to my little brother and my little sister. I love you. I love you. I love you. Okay, let's go ahead and get this party started. All right. Let me get everything situated here. Y'all bear with me one quick, one little hot second. I can get all of this stuff put together. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. My first question today is from Denny. And Denny asks, Denny says, I saw a video that said in March, there will be three days of darkness. What do my cards say and what chaos can we expect? Universe creator, spirit guides, please answer this question. In the month of March, will there be three days of darkness that has been predicted on the mainstream media? Yes or no? Will there be three days 
of Darkness in March. Denny, we got a no on that one, okay? We got a no on three days in March. Um, it's inverted. My whole deck is inverted, but I'm going to read this to you. So they are saying no. Um, this is fear of moving on, stagnation, monotony, and accepting your lot. Guys, we are in a system of change. But when these people are telling you that on cert such a certain day or whatever, that the, the lights are going to go out, that is fear mongering. Okay? Now, there will come a time when we will be plunged into darkness. However, ain't nobody going to be able to predict when that time is. That is for the Almighty, for the powers that are to decide. Okay, and I'm not talking about man. Okay, I'm talking about nature. I'm talking about energy. We are in a system of change right now. Do not fall victim to fear mongering. And I need y'all to be very, very careful right now with what happened with AT&T or Sprint or whoever lost their connectivity uh, last week. That was the first scare for what, what, what is to come when we do lose connectivity. That was Big Brother seeing how many people were going to freak out. And I want to say for the majority of y'all, y'all handled it like champs. Now, you know that this is a possibility. And you know that anybody, anywhere, Verizon, um, any one of these big companies can hit the switch and everybody loses connectivity. Man has the power to do that. Man is also trying to set you up to scare you. So don't be afraid of this right now. Denny, this three days of darkness that they are saying is supposed to happen in March. My cards are saying it's not going to happen in March. So exhale. Don't hold your breath. And don't, don't use their fear tactics to cause us to bring that into fruition. Remember, we are creators and what we fix our thoughts on, we cause to happen. This 3D matrix that we are living in right now, every day that we wake up, we are creating this reality. The way to create something different is to change your mindset, number one. Think about expansion, not about shrinking. Think about happiness, not about um, fear or sadness. What you put your energy into is what you manifest. So make sure that what you are manifesting is abundance, joy, happiness, more good things. Don't even consider the bad things. Namaste, y'all. So, um, Denny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that, that March, the lights will stay on. My next question is from Spirits Beyond the Stars. Spirits says her brother passed away a little over a year ago, and Spirits Beyond the Stars would like to know, does is there a message from her brother, universe, creator, spirit guides, for the brother of spirits beyond the stars you know who you are do you have a message for your sister yes or no okay I'm going to read you what this card is um, spirits beyond the stars you get the decision card if there is a decision that you have been waiting or contemplating making um, right now, it says you're sitting on the fence about a decision. A decision uh, may be painful or difficult. You need to go ahead and make a decision. Choose. Choose now which way you want to go. You will not choose wrong. But you must make a choice. Um, just go ahead and make the choice. Whatever it is you are contemplating, go ahead and make the choice. Stop sitting on the fence about it. Oh, there you go. My next question is from Danny Jeannie Hare. And Danny Jeannie Hare asks, Will Kate, Princess Kate, 
and Princess Megan come to an understanding? Will Princess Kate and Princess Megan ever come to an understanding to where they could be friends or civil to each other? Yes or no? Yes, there is going to come a time. And look at this card, y'all. We got creative expression. This card is a romantic proposals, offers, invitations, taking action, following your heart, okay? Um, an amiable, intelligent young person full of new ideas and proposals. And I'm kind of feeling, y'all, that a lot of what is going on between Kate and um, Megan has to do with the way that Megan has a freedom of speaking about her feelings and how she feels that Kate has been was taught by the queen to suppress to not show her true emotions to swallow the pain at all costs and to always present a professional face basically to be a plastic person is what Kate was told and since Megan was not taken under the queen's wing um, and the we queen didn't even want her there to be perfectly honest um, and, and let's talk about this like it needs to be talked Queen Elizabeth did not like Meghan Markle and she did not like her for only one reason uh, well let's say let's put for two reasons one reason was because her color and yes it wasn't because of her her personality or anything else. It was only because of her color. And had Megan been a white girl, the queen would have accepted her gladly. But since Megan was a black girl, is a black girl, and here's the other side of that. Y'all got to understand, uh, Queen Elizabeth was a 100% witch, whether she was a witch. Um, she was a witch, okay? She knew things. She could do things. They had special rights and things. When, because everyone is vetted, they knew who Megan was. And they knew this day was coming. Understand, this is not a surprise to the royal family that the real royal family would return to England. This is prophecy, okay? The queen knew this. The queen knew who Megan was when she was born. And when Megan gave birth to that first boy, Archibald, Queen Elizabeth knew then that it was over for the Monbatons. Okay, the, the, the throne is going to go back. So I just had to say that. I had to say that. But yes, Danny Jeannie here, Megan and Kate will at some point come to an understanding. My next question is from Spirits Beyond the Stars. Spirits asks, when the Democrats win the election, will they continue to claim that they can't get anything done because of looking because uh they would look biased and that's a great question um spirits beyond the stars and this is what we all need to understand when it comes to our politics the issues that our congressmen and senators and all these people run on are the same problems year after year after year. They beg us to elect them so they could fix Roe versus Wade, so they could fix um, unfair treatment of, of whoever. They run on these platforms, they get elected on these platforms, and then they do nothing their entire tenure to fix the things that they ran on. And if you think about it, all of these people run on the same issues. It used to be Roe versus Wade, but the Supreme Court done kicked that back to the states now, so a whole bunch of Democrats ain't got nothing to run on now. They could have fixed this. They could have passed it, made it into law. They chose not to. 
to keep it as a running point. The same thing that Donald Dump Trump is doing with the border crisis. He, there's a bill on the table, table that would help the border crisis immensely. But since Donald Trump says, no, I'm running on that issue, you can't fix it. The Republicans have said, no, we are not taking up this issue because we need this to run on. And once you understand that these people are self-serving, they each have their own agenda. Stop putting your faith in these politicians. These are human beings. Not one of them is a God. The President of the United States is not a deity. Joe Biden is a human person. And we as American people need to understand that. And part of the trick is to get us to idolize our quote unquote political leaders. These are people who decided that they just want to get money by making the laws. Nobody said there is no test that made anybody qualified to be a congressman, a senator, a president, or anything. All you got to do is throw your name in the bucket, the chum bucket with everybody else, and whoever gets fished out for the popularity contest gets the job. So stop putting all of your hopes and dreams on a freaking piece of fish, okay? Understand these are people. Use what you have to make your decisions. Stop relying on other people to think for you. No spirits beyond the stars. Um, the, the Democrats are going to continue to claim that they can't get anything done because they are going to run on the same issues over and over again. That is because this is how the whole thing was set up. Stop believing in these people. These people are there to make money. They got a job and they want a paycheck. Just like you go to your job for a paycheck. You don't go to your job to save the world. And believe you me, 99% of those people sitting in the House of Representatives and in our uh, state Senate don't give a damn about you or me or the price of bread, okay? Understand that. And once you can let go of believing that, that somebody else is going to fix your life, then you can start to live your life on your own terms because then you will be calling in for yourself, not waiting for somebody else to do it for you. All right, my next question is from Must Be Heard. Must Be Heard asks, are my relatives who moved by my daughter planning anything negative or nefarious? Um, one time Must Be Heard came from out of town to visit and her relatives wouldn't let her into their house and they said, you can't come in because it's not clean. Oh, goodness gracious. You done came out of town. And your family won't open the door to offer you a place to sit down. That tells you a whole lot must be heard. But let's go ahead and ask this question. Universe creator, spirit guides, tarot. Must be heard family moved close to their daughter. Are they in two cards dropped out? Um, and both three cards dropped out and all three of them are yes. Spirit of uh, must be heard. Yes, they are. Um, tell your daughter to keep her guard up. Um, these are the same people. The same people who would not let you in their house will go to your daughter's house and try to take everything she has. Money, um, a cup of sugar every doggone day. Will never have stuff they need. Will use your daughter's house like it's their own house. Be aware of this. This is foresight right here. What you are feeling is wrong is wrong. Tell your daughter to put up strong boundaries, to say the word no, and to make sure she don't give nobody a key to her house. Um, and, to, and to be aware because things that are sitting outside may just come up missing. The second card we've got is budgeting. Again, money. Um, might be people just be coming asking for money 
borrow the car, whatever. You need to put up some strong boundaries about this. And these are family members. So, and, and there is some love there. So just protect yourself. Protect yourself. Tell your daughter to protect herself. Just remember, just be all skin folk, all kin, skin folk ain't kin folk. And just because we related to folks do, don't never mean they got our best interests at heart. A whole bunch of our family don't do nothing but find who is who is the most usable. And that's what they do. And you have people that don't care. Understand you got some in your family. Proceed with caution. My next question is from Denny. Denny asks, when Fat Man and Little Boy, if y'all don't know who that is, Fat Man and Little Boy are the two um, hydrogen bombs that were dropped on uh, Hiroshima and, and Nagasaki in Japan uh, in World War II. So, Danny, Denny asks, when Fat Man and Little Boy were dropped on Japan, did it have an effect on people's health around the world? Yes, Denny, it did. And it had a lasting effect, a lasting effect to this day on the people in and around Japan. Now, Japan got a double dose of, of radiation, y'all. A double dose. We, the United States, dropped two hydrogen bombs on this little tiny island. And I need y'all to understand... Japan is an island. We dropped two bombs on one island. And then, years later, uh, Fukushima um, melted down and more radiation was leached into Japan. Yes, this has far-reaching um, health consequences. Not just for Japan but for around the world. The instances of different types of cancers that came out of this because of all of the radiation and hydrogen atoms, those atoms don't just stay in one place and disappear. They go into the water. They go into the, the earth. So all the fish, all the food, everything was contaminated. And yes, everyone suffers because of what the United States, what America did to Japan, the whole world, the whole world's health is poorer because of it. Yes, Denny. My next question is from Neil D. Neil asks, Mike Johnson is a member of the Seven Mountain Mandate. What is the future of this movement? And I had to look that up. And this is, um, these people, basically, the seven mountain mandate, and I didn't write all the mountains down, but basically, these people want to control education. They want to control religion. They want to control government. They want to control the freedom of your speech. They want to control all the laws that you make. This is an infiltration. You want to talk about the Seven Mountain Movement is akin to the Crusades. I'll put it that way. They are akin to the Crusades, except for at this point, they're not out there killing people for not believing in their God. But that's what they want to do. They are setting in place um, to where they want to force everyone to change everything to be to match the Bible and their ideology. And this is not an ancient cult. This this thing came together in the 70s. Okay, so this is a bunch of rich, rich muckety mucks who want to force everybody under one religious ideology and they want to take over the schools, the television, the laws and everything. It is another it, it's another crusade. This is another this is the same thing that that the Romans did when they tried when they made the whole world Christian, when they killed 90% of all the indigenous people, men to turn this into a Christian world. Yeah, there you go. 
<sighs> what is the future of this movement? Universe creator, spirit guide. What is the future of the seven mountain mandate? Oh, we got the hermit. Let me to okay. These people, their movement, unfortunately, their movement is going to grow, but it is not going to be what they want it to be. Um, but these people, these people are scary people. I'll put it that way. This is a whole cult. It is a whole cult. Um, and it's been working in the shadows for a long time. Um, it's not going to have the effects that the Crusades had on the rest of the world, but it will damage a whole lot of young people, a young people's ideology. A, young, a lot of people, are, young folks, are going to be forced into this by their parents, churches, whatever. Um, basically making bigots, making narrow-minded individuals, um, saying that there's only one way to do everything, and that's our way, and if you're doing anything else, then you're going against God's law. And it's fear tactics, it's strong arming, and it's a whole lot of giving away your power to a group of men to uh, pick a uh, Pick apart your life. You're going to give all your power to other people to tell you what you can and can't do. That's what the Seven Mountains movement is. They are going to be, they're not going to be big successful um, as for like taking over the United States ideology, but they are going to be damaging. They are going to damage a whole lot of young people um, a whole lot of young people are going to be damaged because of this Seven Mountain movement. Oh, I hope that made sense. Okay, my next question. Will Elon Musk, somebody that went and nominated this fool for a Nobel Peace Prize for free speech, the man who destroyed Twitter, if it was destroyable, um, but took away free speech, and he's getting nominated uh, for a, a Nobel Peace Prize for free speech. Universe, creator, tarot, spirit guides. Will Elon Musk win the Nobel Peace Prize for freedom of speech? No! He got nominated, but he ain't gonna win. Thank you. Thank you, tarot. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. No, he's not going to win it. Ooh, everybody can exhale. He got nominated, though. And all it takes is for somebody to nominate you to, to stand up there. So now he's got to add that to add to his, his resume that he was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. Doesn't matter whether he won or not. He gets to write that down, that he was nominated for a Nobel Peace Prize. But he ain't going to win it. My next question is from uh, Danny Genie here. Did William hurt Kate? Has William put his hands on Princess Kate? Universe creator, spirit guides. Has William physically harmed Kate? There's two parts to this question, y'all. Has Prince William physically harmed Princess Kate? Yes or no? Yes. Um, William has put his hands on his wife. And he got the King of Wands. I told you, this powerful man card, being in charge, decisive, um, someone who inspires others. Um, but yes, yes, uh, Prince, uh, Prince uh, William has harmed his wife. The second question in this one is, will William and Kate get divorced? Will William and Kate Divorce. We got a jumper and we got a yes. We got a yes. We got at some point she's she's gonna be get tired of being um berated 
and feeling like she's a placeholder. Yes. Let's get it. Yes. Yep. Yes. And she will be changing residences. She may be moving out of her residence uh, sooner than later. Uh, before they get divorced, they will be separated. Um, expect, I told y'all, exactly. And look at all three of these cards are, they are, look at the color of them. Here's the thing about William and Kate, and all of these are wands. So this is, this is them getting just beat up. Um, their relationship is taking a hard, hard, hard time. Expect for Princess Kate to literally move back into the cottage. And I can't remember what it was called. I don't know if it's Belmaro or if it's something else. But wherever it was that Princess Diana lived when she and Prince Charles were on the outs, that's exactly where Princess Kate is going to go. Kensington. Kensington. Kensington Palace, um, I feel, is going to be where Kate is going to... Uh, take up her residence um, uh, alone. So if that's where they're living now, then William's going to move out. Maybe he'll move to Belmaro and she'll stay in Kensington. But um, yes, there will, there, there, Princess Kate and William will not stay together in holy matrimony. Y'all starting to see this, the flies on the wall? Starting to see how old Harry's Harry's bloodline's gonna come back to the throne? Interesting, ain't it? My next question, will Russia, oh, this is a serious one, will Russia attack America while Biden is president? Universe creator, spirit guides, will Russia attack America, the United States of America, while Biden is president? Hold on. Nothing hit the floor. Here we go. Hold on. Let me shuffle these again. Will Russia attack the United States of America while Biden is president? Yes or no? We got a yes, y'all. And we got we are full of wands today, y'all. We got a yes. Um, um, but this is what I'm feeling. Number one, um, it's not going to be a physical attack. This will be a cyber attack. This is cyber attack. Y'all, time to change your passwords, period. Change your passwords on everything. Change all of your email passwords and don't do nothing simple. Um, a lot of you guys who have uh, uh, iPhones, now it has a password generator. Use it. Okay, for your iPhone or your Apple products, use it. Those are some hard to crack codes. Or you just put a string of letters and numbers together that means something to you, but nobody else will figure out. Never use password. Never use one, two, three, four. Never use the name of the company that that your um that the the account is for. Those are the easiest things to figure out. And don't use your own name either because that's another easy one. No, numbers and symbols are the easy are the hardest things for hackers to code. When you look at your at your keyboard and you look at the numbers and you look at one and then above the one is the exclamation point. Use those symbols. It makes it that much harder for somebody to know if it's a one or if it's a two or an at, okay? Use what is given to you to create strong passwords that people just can't pick out the top of their head, okay? Use a little creativity, but right now, it is time. Change all of your passwords. Change them all. Okay. My next question, will Trump surrender or give up? Will Trump surrender or give up? Universe creator, spirit guides. Will Donald Trump surrender or give up this race for the presidency? No, he will not. I love tarot. I love tarot. Can't even trick tarot. Look at that. No, 
Caro says, no, Donnie Dump Trump ain't giving up nothing. He ain't giving up and he ain't surrendering. He's going to take this all the way until he's either dead or they walk him off in handcuffs. He's committed to that. My next question is from Paula S. And Paula asks, will my patient Latrice, um, her patient Latrice is very sick and is going to pass. Her patient Latrice, who she takes very good care of, um, has told her son to take good care of Paula financially. Paula wants to know, will Latrice's son honor his mother's wishes? Will Latrice's son, let me turn these around. I got some cards that are the wrong way around. Will Latrice's son honor her last wishes and take care of Paula after she passes? Will Latrice's son honor his mother's wishes? Yes or no? I'm sorry, Paula. I'm sorry. Um, that's a no. You ain't going to see that boy again. So if you're going to talk to his, if his mama's still alive and you want to, you might want to ask her to write you in the will or something because the boy ain't going to honor the risk, the wishes. It ain't going to happen. My next question is from Cruising PC. And Cruising PC wants to know, do I get my information on the Royals from my spirit team about their prophecy and lineage? Yes, I do. I don't watch anything about the Royals. Don't know really don't know nothing about them. Everything that I say about them royals does not, that comes into me. So that is straight from my spirit team. So yes, uh, cruising PC. My info from on Megan and the uh, royal royals comes from my spirit guides. And y'all, oh, nope, not, not my last question. Here we go. My next question is from Sharon. Why? Let me throw my little commercial in here real quick. Y'all, I am running a, a special until I run out of these bottles. So I made one so y'all can see what they look like when, when it's not just an empty bottle. When I have finished it, so I made this piece of mine spray. I made a, a, a big batch because I made one for somebody else. And it was so wonderful. I, I put it in my in, in my bottle for myself. Oh, it's wonderful, y'all. So here, this is what it looks like when it's all done. Um, and then and I'm running my special for you get the sachet, the room spray, um, and a one hour reading. And all these charms, guys, um, I I it, it goes on what I feel um when I'm making it. So Everything is magic. Everything is intuition. Everything is all about you when I am crafting and making these. The herbs that go into both of these are made just for you. So right now, if you would like a one hour reading, a four ounce sash, uh, room spray, and a regular size sachet, this is a $100 special, y'all. And this is absolutely fantastic. Oh. Oh, it's wonderful, y'all. It's just energetic. So if you are interested in, in purchasing these, psychictanya9 at gmail.com and just put $100 special and you can get in on a sachet and a room spray to help you with whatever you need help with. Okay, there you go. Um, my next question is from Sharon Y. And Sharon wants to know, does Melania think um, that 40, uh, that, that her husband is going to be president again? Does Melania believe that Donald Dump Trump is going to be president again? Yes or no? 
Y'all, Melania don't even think he's got it. No, his wife don't think he's going to win. She knows he's going to prison or going into the graveyard. She hoping he go into the boneyard because if he goes to the boneyard, then she, well, ain't going to be nothing left. But at least she'll be free. <laughs> she won't have to stand up there and say, I don't care, do you? Okay, there you go. There you go. Melania don't even believe that her husband is going to win this race. No, she does not. She does not even believe it. My next question. Is Zelensky, is uh, President Zelensky hopeful about his country's future? Is President Zelensky hopeful about Ukraine's future? Universe, creator, spirit guides. Is President Zelensky hopeful about where his country is going. Yes, he, uh, President Zelensky is hopeful. And, and look at this. We are just getting these rods. Everything is just in so much turmoil over there. But yes, he is hopeful that things will work out. The next question, why is Nikki Haley still in the race after she lost? And I predicted that, y'all. I told y'all she was going to lose South Carolina. And I told y'all, um, I told, well, I said she would, she would get out of the race. Um, I think I said that. I'm not sure. But the reason that Nikki Haley is still in the race, y'all, is because Nikki Haley knows that come October, November, um, Donnie Dump Trump might get told by the Supreme Court that no, nah, you don't have a leg to stand on, you insurrectionist. You're going to jail or whatever, whatever the case may be. When what's going on by that time? That is why Nikki Haley is trying her best to stay in this race because she will at least be be able to be on the ballot, even if she is not the uh, the Republicans' choice if that makes any sense. Now, let's 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 ask cuz I don't know how this is going to work. Universe creator spirit guides tarot. Will Nikki Haley stay in this race all the way up to the election? Will Nikki Haley stay in this race up to the election? Nope. Nope. So, I guess I was right on the other one too. So, at some point, um and I guess it might be sooner than later. Nikki Haley is going to drop out of this race. Terrell says she is. Um, I thought she would as soon as she lost South Carolina, but she stayed in. She's probably just staying in for a little while longer, but Terrell says she ain't going to stay in the race. Eventually, she will drop out. Okay. My next question, and I think this is from uh, Sharon Why? I think. I'm not sure. I, I think they are. Did Portia of Real Housewives of Atlanta marry Simon for his money. Did Portia, and I don't know who these people are, I don't I don't watch TV, but I definitely don't watch no Real Housewives or nothing. Um, did Portia of Real Housewives marry Simon for his money? Yes or no? Tarot, yes or no? Did Portia marry Simon for his money? And we just got wands. Yes. Yes, she did marry him for his money. New beginnings, good news, physically starting something new. Uh, here's the second part of that question. Will, uh, will Portia benefit from the divorce <laughs> from Simon? Because Simon is already cheating on her. Uh, with somebody else, can't get citizenship, has uh, been indicted for um, some crimes, money laundering or some crimes, I don't know. Bad people. No vetting on TV, obviously. Will Portia benefit from divorcing Simon? Yes or no? No. You can't get, you can't squeeze money out of a turnip. And old Simon ain't got no money. He got a whole lot of games it seems like but he ain't got no money so last question y'all last question try to get this out by 10 10 is karma visiting wendy williams because of her spreading 
people's business and profiting for from it. Is part of Wendy Williams's karma because of her being a sensationalist talk show host? Nope. No, it's not. I told y'all what is being done to Wendy Williams is being done to her. This is a planned out systematic attack on her. That woman was poison. That woman was whoever did it to her. And y'all know who I think it was. The same one who is fighting with everybody else in the whole free world right now. Um, oh, Puffy. I, I, and, and for entertainment purposes only. That's who I think had a lot to do with um, who, whoever financed the let's get rid of Wendy Williams campaign because that is what I feel that it really was, y'all. Um, Wendy Williams has been systematically poisoned. Wendy Williams, even though she will survive, she is not going to have a quality of life. Uh, but no, Sharon, this was not karma taking aim at her. This was done to her by a vindictive, evil person. All right, all right, there you go. Let's go ahead and get into this weather report so I can get this up, and hopefully it'll be on by 1010. Okay, here we go. You, um, The weather report for this week Oh, okay, y'all. Um, this week is going to be interesting. Um, we, we are in some more solar storms, and there could be some disconnectivity with um, GPS systems in some places. Uh, we've got a solar, we've got another big solar storm. Oh, we've got a big spot. We've got a big spot that is about to to release and these are it's going to release several X class and maybe even higher than X class flares so the weather for the rest of this week guys it's going to be some crazy weather um, space weather uh, uh, there's going to be a whole lot of solar winds fast solar winds so everybody that just got all these rainstorms that just went rushing through there will be another atmospheric river that will come cascading across the whole United States. So prepare for that. The flooding is not over. The flooding is not over. Um, Washington, Oregon, Montana, there will be a lot of, uh, there will be increased seismic activities, a lot of uh, feelable earthquakes. Um, again, there's going to be seismic activity around a lot of those volcanoes. Again, we're talking Washington and Oregon. Um, a lot of uh, earthquakes around those volcanoes. California is just going to be trimmer city this week. A lot of small volcanoes that are just going to be running down the fault line uh, this week. Nothing too, too, too heavy, but a lot of them will be feelable. And this will be strange because people will say, I haven't felt this many earthquakes in a long time. So there will be feelable, but not too much damage. But this is a, it's a crescendo, y'all. Um, Oklahoma, uh, along those uh, drill points, there will be some stronger earthquakes. Y'all may get up, Oklahoma may get up to a above a three. I want to say a four point something, but a strong enough earthquake to knock stuff down um, in Oklahoma, nor, uh, North Texas as well. This is going to be a good, uh, there's going to be a good spread on this seismic activity. Um, and again, when the earth moves, everything else moves. So y'all, there's going to be fast moving winds. Behind that wind is going to be another atmospheric river. California, y'all prepare now. Um, the flooding is not over. Um, but this storm, as it moves across the United States, um, it should not get, well, no, it'll, it'll, it'll be across the United States by about Wednesday. Um, it's going to run into the mountains and then it's going to pick up some speed, um, some steam, y'all. 
So the wins for a lot of you guys down below Appalachia, um, uh, Georgia, um, uh, North and South Carolina, y'all are going to get a double whammy because you're going to get the first set of wins. It's going to hit the Appalachia and it's going to turn into a whole lot of well, fast moving water. So be aware of this. This is the time. And and guys, for a lot of us, it's not that cold anymore. It's ridiculous here in Las Vegas. I swear yesterday, I think it was in the 80s. Oh my God. I mean, I was in complete shorts. So um, this weather is wild. Be prepared for this because you're going to go from un seasonably warm temperatures um, on Monday to frigid temperatures on Tuesday. Protect yourself from illness. This is when people's flus and COVID ain't gone, y'all. And it the resurgence that it is about to make is going to be grandiose. So protect yourself at all costs. Make sure that you dress your little ones appropriately. Uh, make sure you dress yourself appropriately and have your go kit in your car. Be ready for any catastrophe, okay? All right, y'all. All right. Let's go ahead and prepare for the Reiki prayer. Take a deep breath in. Clear your mind. Exhale. Let go of everything that doesn't serve you. Take another deep breath in. Set your intention for this day. Be, I will be present. I will be a participant in my life. I will work on myself and I will ensure that my happiness is my priority. Here we go. Just for today, I let go of anger. I let go of worry. I am grateful. I work on myself and I am kind to all living things. I love you. I love you. I love you. If you would like a reading from me, guys, I've got new dates on my calendar. Um, the readings are only $65 if uh, for an hour. $35 for a half hour and $25 for 15 minutes. If you would like a reading, psychictanya9 at gmail.com and just tell me how long of a free, how long of a reading you would like. Psychictanya9 at gmail.com. Come on over and don't let anything that is out there worrying you worry you. Come get your answers, get your clarity, get your peace of mind. I love you, I love you, I love you. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Happy birthday, Stevie. I love you. Bye-bye, y'all.